Hello friends, welcome. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see how we create a Gantt chart slide. You can see I am uh, presenting my screen and I am putting this Gantt chart for a IT project. So on the left hand side, you can see that we have different faces uh, for IT project. And on the right hand side, we can see a calendar at the top. And then we have a bar showing the ETAs for every face. And in the bottom section, you can add a key message here. So there's a placeholder for this. Now, uh, if you're doing a project and a program, this is a very good way to uh, put a plan together in a form of Gantt chart and uh, send a, a plan to your audience or to your stakeholders. I have uploaded uh, this as a completely editable version uh, on a shared drive. You can find the link in the description section. From there, you can download and use it. Now let's see how we can quickly build this slide. So for that, I'm going to open a blank slide. So first thing I'm going to insert a table. And you can see I'm putting a plan for uh, 12 months. So at least I need uh, 12 column. So let's insert a table from here. And I'm going to insert two more column here because when I insert this table, there was 10 column. So just go to layout and say insert right. So now we have total uh, 12 column. I'm going to stretch it towards the right. Now uh, at the top, you, I want to put a quarter, quarter one, two, three, and four. And then after that, I want to put month. So let me first merge these. So you can select just these three and say merge cell. Similarly, I'm going to merge other as well. And let's say quarter one, then quarter two, three, and four. Uh, in the next uh, row, I'm going to add a month So similarly, I'm going to add uh, a month till December here. Now let me uh, change the font here. So I'm going to choose a font as Kendra, go to home, change the font from here. So now you can see the months are coming in one line and I can increase the font for this. Okay. Now I'm also going to change the uh, fill here. So let's say I go here and choose this one. For this one, uh, I'm going to choose, uh, let's say this color now for all of them uh, just go to a layout and choose the center one so that it comes at the center now you can see the alignment is very good okay so now let me add one more table here insert table and as i said i am uh, referring it project here so i'm going to add uh, uh different different faces here so i consider a few faces here you can add more faces or uh, based on your need so i'm going to add development design not development a requirement design development deployment now i have added a six faces here so i also need a corresponding a six rows here there's only four so if you have less face or more face based on that you can add the similarly uh, in the rows here so i'm going to insert two more rows here so insert below now these i'm referring the face so let me write it down face and i'm going to change the color for this one now let's change the font 
go to layout and okay so let me just change the spacing here so if you select all of these and then go to table design and layout you can see you can change the spacing from here so i'm going to use 1.5 similarly i'm going to change this also to 1.5 now let me see so the, we have one extra here let me delete this row now you can see uh, the it is uh, in sync let me bring this here for this also it is 1.02 and for this row it is 1.03 so let me change it so it's the alignment is perfect okay so now the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, remove this uh, inner lines how we do that select the one row go to table design and uh, choose this dot I'm going to choose this one and say uh, no border so there is no border and then say outside border now you can do it for each and every row say no border and then outside border I'm going to do this for all lines so I remove the border now I'm also going to remove this color so just say shading no fill now you can see there is no fill now I'm going to add uh, the shape uh, this one for to showing the bar okay say shape outline no outline and now this uh, you can drag it till the point based on your project and program plan so for this demo purpose I'll just put some random dates here let's say my requirement start from here and goes uh, till March similarly my design goes from here let's say and then goes till April then my development start from here and goes till July then my testing phase start and goes till September and then integration goes till November again these are a temporary uh, timelines I'm putting but it all depends how your project and program timelines are and accordingly you can uh, change this and again we are doing a deployment in December so I'm just putting it here okay so let's change the color for these all uh, bars so let me change this to let's say this color So I have changed the color now one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some effect here so let's say go to format shape effect I'm going to choose uh, this one and then I'm going to increase the distance to four five I'm going to do same for others as well go here choose a preset and increase the distance Now you can see I have added effect here so let's uh, add effect for this table also so before that uh, let me do a control B and I'm changing a color for this as well so let's go to shape fill and uh, let's say I want to choose this color and I want to keep uh, font as white okay now select this table and go to format shape and I'm going to go under shadow preset and I'm going to choose this one 
similarly for this table also I am going to go preset choose this one inner now you can see some uh, shadow effect is there we can also put uh, this font as white so it is much visible this looks good now so now the upper section is ready now I'm going to add a placeholder at the bottom where you can uh, put a key message for your audience so for that let's go insert uh, add a circle here and when you click on this you can go into the shape format and you can change the size from here so let's say I'm picking a size of 1.1 and then go to insert take a shape uh, this one for this also I'm going to use the same size as 1.1 now for both of them let's say shape outline no outline for now and bring it here you can see it's a perfect alignment because the size is same now for the circle choose a shape outline as white outline and send this one to back so you see now this outline is visible so let me adjust this okay okay so now this is adjusted let me put it here and I'm going to change the color also so let's say I'm using uh, let's say this color and for this one I'm going to choose let's say a little lighter color this one now do a control G so put it here copy it and now do control D so you can copy it here one more time do a control D and uh, bring it here do a control D and uh, bring it here now I'm putting some number here so let's say 1 and uh, change this to Kendra increase the size same goes here So I put just some numbering here so that uh, the reader can read it in a, some sequential way and now add, let me add a text box here so what we are saying here is this is our key message so you can add your key message title here and keep it here and you can add one more text box here enter your text here so you can keep uh, entering your text here I'm just put, placing a text box here while you are building a slide for yourself you can update uh, text here based on your need so now let me do a full slide so so you can see uh, we have a Gantt chart uh, one thing which is missing here is we did not put the ETA so let me put the ETA so insert text box let's say let me put a date as 331 for requirement and uh, put it here now let me just copy paste uh, these dates and we can change the month and date uh, let's say 431 430 and this is 730 it is ending on july this is ending in somewhere in september so we can say let's say 915 and this is ending in november so 11 30 and then finally it is going live in 12 let's say 15 so you can change these dates based on your uh, project schedule 
and at the end I want to add a flag here which shows that the deployment is done so we can quickly build a flag also so just go to insert shape choose this icon and draw it say shape outline no outline insert a line and uh, just do a right click and say format shape you can see that uh, you can increase the width this is good one and then you can say begin arrow type is this and the end arrow type is this and plug it here now I'm going to change the shape outline to green and this shape or fill, say fill also green and now control G group them together and we can just bring it here so now let me do a slide show so here is our Gantt chart slide you can see uh, let me do a pointer option here so you can see uh, we have a calendar at the top uh, this is a yearly calendar I have drawn if you have a program of less than one year or more than one year you can adjust this calendar uh, I have taken few faces for IT project you can either squeeze the faces you can add more faces and accordingly you can show that when the ETAs are there for every uh, phase and at the bottom you can uh, add a key message what you, the message you want to give it to your audience so this is a very simple uh, Gantt chart slide you can build it within 15-20 minutes and give an impactful uh, messaging to your audience as I said earlier the complete editable version of this is uh, uploaded in a shared drive the link is given in the description section please download and use it thank you very much for watching this video